Hi, this is the Bunny Kid for another video. I'm going to do a few more game videos. Even though I have done this, but this is for a special person. Special shout out to a guy by the name of Jonathan Van Derville. Um, he does, he did his own review of The Price of Road in America. So, I thought I'd do a special review for him. Since I have done one in the past, but this is the Australian price right, not the American one. Everything you need the most, uh, well, most audience participation, shown well. Uh, oh, sorry, it says everything you need to host the most popular audience participation, show in, in your home. Well, I want to say the world. Okay. Yeah, that's the back of it. And that says next time you do grocery shopping, keep the docket. And that's pretty much the all that's in the box. So, but don't worry, we have the inside of it. We have, you know, this the thing to be high prizes, of course. Um, yeah, that's the showcase the end. Post seven prizes. Okay, and this is a game called Two for the Prices One. And that's the um, instructions, I believe. Yeah. And this is a game similar to the US version of um, um, Lucky Seven, but it's called One Dollar Deal. Yeah. Yeah, we have One Dollar Deal instead of Lucky Seven, but what the hell? It was the 2000s. Okay, and I think this is two price. Yep, yeah, that's it. And yeah, that's the thing for two price day. That's the thing for showcase. In um, yeah, we have these podium biddens. Uh, some in a race thing, I believe. Yeah. Um, tokens for one dollar deal. Yep, um, yeah, some grocery game. Yeah, that's pretty much what this this one price. I know it's short and sweet, but hopefully, Jayven, you'll enjoy it. This is the Bunny Chick signing off for now. I'll be back with another video soon. I'm back, and this is another v video review, but it's also for another shout out. To a guy named Corey Lawrence, who absolutely loves the Chase Australia. I think he might be a super nerd fan. I know my friend Hunt Dylan, he's a shark fan, so this is the old game. Yeah, there's a Chase on there. It's Goliath, Super Nerd, Shark, and Andrew O'Keefe. Yeah, um, I think yeah, on each side there is there's a shark. There's Goliath. I think we have Super Nerd on this. No, that's a shark again. We have a Super Nerd. Oh, here's a Super Nerd. Yeah, that's a Super Nerd. Right there. Okay. Oops, that's just the back of it. Back of the Chase game. Yeah, Chase Australia. The Chase. Just didn't equip the race. Over a thousand question. Include the electric timer. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Probably some gunky stuff, but I'll take the. I don't know why it's in my... Um. Okay, I'll take the contents out of the box itself slowly because I have my like my new iPad. Yeah, that's the box itself. Oops. Oh, that's the. Time, I should turn that off somehow. Yeah, it's a time missing here. Um, okay, here we got. Whoops. The board itself. Yeah, um, I think the highest it goes up to is 30 steps. Yeah, because that's 30 there, and this is. One and so forth. That's the board itself. 
Obviously, these are the questions in there. I think blue represents the um, cash build up and red represents when you go for a chaser. Yeah. So, I'll fix that up there. Yeah, and yeah. Oops, I'll show you the other little pieces to this so called game as well. When I, um, let's see, there we go. I'm just put the things there. Okay, um, there we go. I'll show you all the little chases I have here. There's that's Goliath. Um, of course, that's Super Nerd. Um, yeah, I do have, surprisingly have a governor. I did this was before um, the, uh, Mark Lebet, aka the Beast, joined the chase. I think I'm, I'm trying to find a shark around some. Where's Shucky Boy? That's uh, Super Nerd. Oh dear. I don't know if I have any sharks around. Hmm, I thought I did, but. Oh well. But. These are just some of the offers they'll offer you, like that, or and then you just decide what you play for, and then hope the aim of the game is to hope to make to the end. So that's pretty much the this. I hope if you ever get the chance to see this, Corey, I hope you like it. I will be back for another. Game review soon. Hi, this is a bunny. This is my last game review for now. This is Will Fortune, and this is a big shout out to my friend Hunter Dillon, who does do Will Fortune games that are fun. So, this is basically Will Fortune. This is based from, I think. This is from 2003, all the fun of TV games at home. Um, and the back, well, colour may subject to change from what's on the back. I have a blue one, and this is a different colour. Uh, and this is a game for two to four players or team ages eight to adult. And this company is Crown Andrews, who makes wonderful games from prices right and um deal deal or no deal I think yeah yeah deal or no deal does yeah so okay this is obviously made by channel seven and the Grundy Productions so um okay and of course I'll take stuff out Unlike last time, I might do a bunch of colors. This, this is the wheel. Okay. 100. Oh, 100. Okay, that's the wheel. Um, This is the border for the puzzle. Um, puzzle. Sorry. Puzzle board itself. Um. Part of my book is worse to wear. Yes, that's the. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still effective to playing games of Wheel of Fortune. Um. Yeah, they're all different, of course, puzzles for when you want to play a game of Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um. Where else have we got? Oh, that's the bar. Um, there are the stands, and we got um, play money like that's that's fifty bucks. The bare minimum for a vowel in this game is like fifty bucks. So yeah, it is fifty bucks. Um, we got five hundred and one cell. Oh, there is a hundred. I had to salvage some of this because. I used it one day, used all my play money one day to make a Melbourne Cup outfit. Yeah. Um, 
and of course as you see the free spin tokens here and then there's the other things that you can add to the wheel like um as i'll show you in the box here there is um, 5,000, 1,000, 2,500, 500. Yeah, well, obviously, see, that was in there, but these are on the wheel. Yeah, 5,900. There's a thousand. There is a 25 dot that's in the box. Um, and an extra bankrupt. So I might just spin it one more time, see how much I would have got. 200. Well, it's not too bad if you're playing on round one so hunter i hope you join this little review of wheel of fortune so i'll be back for another video really soon and goodbye everyone